Hey everyone, Dawn here. Just popping in to share some more crafty items that I have made and some of my new stuff that I have gotten recently. Um, right now you're looking at my lap tray. This is what I use when I'm coloring, crafting, whatever because I don't actually have a work table. I am in the dining room right now on the dining room table. So this is my workspace usually and the couch. I'm doing crafts. Um, I just wanted to show the couple things that I got from Amazon. First, originally I had tried, I wanted to order the ultra fine markers. I ended up with the fine, but it is ginormous. It has so many colors, which is actually a good thing because my old pack, the markers were starting to dry out. So I was due for some new Bic markets. So it was kind of a happy mistake. They still have really good tips, so I like them. I bought this thing. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen one of these. It is a Fiskars Precision Cut Express something or other. There's a little blade in there. Let me see if I can show you. There's a blade in there. And you take this off and you can freehand cut things. You can freehand cut things with this and it's supposed to cut shapes. Originally when I ordered it, I thought it was going to be like a circle cutter. And actually it takes templates. So now I have to turn around and order templates. I didn't realize that when I got it. I was just hoping it would be a circle cutter because I can't afford a cuddle bug. So I thought if I could just cut circles, that would be great. But it does take plates. Some of the plates aren't too expensive, so I'm hoping that possibly in the future I can get a couple of the basic plates because I would like to have like the circles and um, there's one that's tags. And I have a little bit of coloring work that I did. This one, of course, is another Lisa Frank page. And I did it all with Vic Markets. And I just did this one the other day. And then this one I just did today was the girl with the horse and if you can see let's see if I can show you look the roses I actually did some kind of shadowing I guess you would say and even with her hair with the big markets which is actually really easy and I did shading and shadowing with the cactus and all that and the wagon was annoying me so I kind of just left that off but so that's a couple of things I've been working on and I wanted to show you some of the crafts that I've been doing because I have tons of crafts. I am very multi-talented. So here's a paracord, let's go, okay, paracord bracelet that I made. Um, I've been making them. I love making them. They're fun. They're not too difficult to make. And you can do pretty much any color. So I made a few of those. There's that one, there's this one's a little bit smaller size, and I can do specific sizes. Um, and this one's got kind of like a pink and gray and black camo with the white. And then there is, let's see, there's another one. This one's a little bit bigger. And it is the pink and gray camo. Just all of it, the one color. I don't know. If you, excuse me, I don't know if you can see that very well. We'll put it over my arm. It's just a little better. Um, also, I have been doing button bracelets. This one still has the long string on it. I didn't cut off. But it is just a stretchy bracelet that you just put on. And it just kind of shows off your buttons. But it's kind of stylish you can, and I have so many buttons because I've been really obsessed with buttons lately so I have that one that is finished I just need to cut the string off and I use the heavier duty um, elastic cording so it won't break the last thing you want is to be somewhere and have it break and here's a purple black and white one this actually is one of my favorites I might keep this one for myself unless somebody decides they really want it um Let's see, I also do beaded jewelry, so I've got this, it's black, white, and red, and it's just got a twisty clasp. Um, 
This one is kind of, these are done with jewelry wire. This one is like a multiple color, just bright, vibrant, also with a twisty clasp. Um, this one is made with glass beads. They are pink, let's see if I can go closer, pink and brown. And it's also got a twisty clasp. And again, they can all be made to size and they can be, the size can be changed. Here's one that's a little one, the same colors. Um, I have one, I think one, yes, I have one that has the Hope Charm on it. Let's see, my camera, I must have the camera gone upside down. So there's the Hope, whoops, there's the Hope Charm, if you can see it. Hopefully this will record so you guys can see everything. Um, see, I also do, they're called wrap bracelets, and what they are is you take a cord and you alternate your bead and your jump rings on the cord and this one is a double wrap so it would go around let me take my watch off this one will go around twice um, mind you it does take a lot of time to make these but I absolutely love them and then the cute buttons are so adorable so it would look little Oops, let's go. Something like this, and then you got, whoops, I didn't clasp it. Then you've got the little button. And I've got different buttons to go with them. Um, I've got all kinds of styles. Here's one that I made that is all wooden beads. Let's see, I don't know. Can you see that? It's all wooden beads. They're a little bit bigger. I made them with the bronzish colored or copper colored jump rings, and then a fairly good size button. I'm not very good with the camera. So that's just a regular sized one. Um, I have another one here that is purple and blue and clear and I just really like those colors and was having some fun myself. And then it's got a little owl. So he's a button that holds that one together. And I just wanted to show you a couple of Hair things that I make. This one is, it's called a corker bow, and it's actually a pony tie, but it has snow white in the center, and then it's snow white colors. And let me try to get a little closer. And you would just wear it in a pony with your ponytail. And then it's all stitched and glued. Whoops, it's all stitched and glued really well. So this will just hang with your ponytail. It's very cute. This one is my favorite just because Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are my favorite. And it's got the yellow and the orange and the brown. And it's got the little corkers. And I can do any color of corkers too. I do tons and tons of custom work. Just ask and a lot of times I can find it or get it. I've been making um, Shambhala style bracelets and here is one that I made. It is, let's see if I can turn this over, it's less distracting, I'm not sure. But it's purple and then it's got zebra beads in it. And my favorite thing about these are that they are adjustable. So they can fit small to large. Um, and for me that's a big deal because measuring and getting exact sizes is always hard and then if you do them for a child they change so they're gonna grow they're not gonna fit into them anymore these will pretty much go with them this one is orange and this is um, nylon cording so it's a really soft kind of shiny cording and this one just has some black beads on it with it um, here's another one I made which I thought was really cute it's yellow cording and it has little dice. Let's see if I can get you to focus here. As beads. And then this one is the last one right now. And I made this one with no beads. So it's more like a friendship style bracelet. But it's that um, variegated colored cording. So it's kind of like a rainbow. And it is one of my favorites. Um, and they're really fun to make 
So I'm planning on whipping up a bunch of these and we're talking about getting a sale going sometime here soon. Uh, if you're interested in any of these items, I do have a Facebook page. It's Lily Bell Inc. And um, that's where I sell a lot of my items. If you're into any of the previous items that I've shown, like the spiritual items with the stones and such, those are on my Charmed Divination page that I share with my best friend, Tanya. Um, let's see. I think that's all I have going on for now. Sorry for the noise in the background. We have a pet mouse, and he's been running kind of crazy. and So, sorry about that. Let's see. Anything else I can say? I still have items that I'm putting together for the giveaway. Um... I have lately involved myself in a couple giveaways, so, like, challenges, and so I'm considering doing a challenge for my page, or for my channel, but I'm confused because I don't have very many subbies right now, so uh, I'm hoping I can get up to, like, 50, and then I'll do uh, my little giveaway, um, but... That is going to be all for right now. I will be back with more videos, of course, and more chit-chat. So thanks for watching, and have a great day, guys. Bye.